Hey guys, uh, this is a little bit of a follow-up uh, to a video I made uh, long ago. This is a project that I built for uh, San Jose City Hall. It's uh, sort of an art exhibit. This tube is filled with water and uh, there's an impeller at the bottom, uh, really just a muffin fan that I kind of stole the blades from. And uh, this drill motor down here spins the fan around and creates like a water vortex in this tube, which looks pretty neat. And the whole thing is controlled from a web server that you can access wirelessly from, you know, a phone or a netbook or whatever. So recently, uh, this thing came back to my shop for a service. The water first grew algae, which you know I was able to fix just by emptying the water and putting a new a new uh, bunch of water in there. Uh, but then it's it became obvious that uh, the the real problem was rust. Here's a look at the bottom of the device, and this is the old shaft with the old uh, impeller on it. This is actually made of steel, of course, because you can see it's rusting away. And um, when I originally built this project, it was to uh, help a friend get interested in mechanical design. So I was really only thinking it was going to live for, you know, a year or a couple months or something. But anyway, and then this sort of art project got started with uh, San Jose City Hall, and so I wanted to adapt this and make it a little bit um, uh, built to last longer. So what I did is uh, change the shaft from aluminum to stainless steel and also used a plastic impeller in there instead of a steel one and then used all stainless hardware inside, inside the tube so that the water only touches plastic or stainless steel. The bearings are arranged like this. There's one thrust bearing up here, a radial bearing inside here, another radial bearing here, and another thrust bearing here. So with these four bearings, the shaft can only rotate. It can't um, move laterally or twist laterally or move axially. It can only rotate. And so this is the same kind of uh, configuration you'd want at the bottom of a blender. So you've got the shaft pretty much rigidly fixed uh, with a shaft seal up here sealing the water up into the tube. So originally I used uh, this seal right here, this is a, uh, an, oil shaft, an oil seal for a shaft and it just has a rubber, uh, a rubber seal with a spring to hold some pressure onto the rubber there. And this worked pretty well. This was installed for, you know, probably two or three years or something and it started to corrode at the top but it's really not as bad as it looks. It's, it's fairly superficial. And so I was going to try to change this into a, an all Teflon seal which I used on, for some vacuum projects, and those worked really well. But the, the uh, hole that I already machined into the plastic was kind of already set, and I couldn't change it very easily. So I just got another one of these and put some silicone across the top to try to cover up that exposed steel, and then just plopped it in there so the silicone would kind of squeeze out between this and the, um, the acrylic. I got all of these parts from McMaster.com, I think every single one of them, the bearings, the shaft, uh, the fan, I guess I cut up a, a computer fan, but even the stainless hardware, the stainless uh, socket head screws, all that came from McMaster, probably even the plastic too. Alright, looks like success. I'll uh, keep the water in there for a few days just to make sure that it's not seeping and then return it to San Jose City Hall. Uh, it's in the lobby and uh, anyone can come in and use it as long as City Hall's open. Okay, see you later guys. Bye.